<laughs> so many different things. Okay, guys, welcome to the Corn Team. And uh, today it's Wednesday, so we're going to be doing that um, uh, mobility um, flow that we've been doing on Wednesdays. Um, Josh and I are switching up a little bit, so he's going to be taking uh, the Tuesdays and Thursdays, and um, I'm going to be doing the Wednesdays uh, and Fridays and Saturdays. So. Um, Anyway, we'll just keep switching up each week just to get a little little fresh perspective on each of these workouts that we're doing. Um, today, we're going to be doing a speed strength workout. Um, and since we're doing the mobility, if you have a blanket or a mat, that would be great. Um, with the speed strength, uh, if you want to use weights, you can, but I would highly suggest using very, very light weights because this is all about speed as opposed to getting the, getting the heavy reps in. Um, the story of the day. In our theme of uh, heroes uh, for the month, and guys, I tell you, when I'm reading some of these stories, they make me a little nervous because you know, I'm always like, oh my God, how is this going to end? But it seems like uh, they all end out pretty, pretty well. Um, so this story is about um, Roy Madrill and Chris Martinez um, as they drive to a gas station to fuel up their car. They're at the gas station and they hear this young mother cry out, um, he has my children, he's stealing my car. And uh, there was this young woman who was 27, she was standing outside of her car uh, chatting with her mom while she was fueling up. And out of nowhere, this guy comes, pushes her aside, jumps in her car and speeds off as her six-year-old and her two-year-old children are in the back. So uh, Roy and Chris jump into their car and they start following the guy. Luckily, this is at a time of cell phones, so uh, Chris is able to call the police and do a play-by-play -play as they're following this, this, uh, this man. And uh, finally, the, the, uh, the getaway car stops. The six-year-old tumbles out. Uh, Chris and Roy grab the little girl and uh, go back to their car. The police show up, and the police um, ask them to just stay in their car while, um, while they you know, deal with the situation just so it hopefully doesn't turn dangerous, which soon after that, the police did apprehend the um, car thief slash almost kidnapper. Um, but uh, th th these stories are, are just meant to be a positive influence in our lives right now as far as like what humans are capable of at any given moment, especially, um, especially in these, these moments of uh, shock and awe and surprise, you know, because you don't you don't expect to go to the gas station and watch somebody's car get stolen and their kids get taken, and so um, uh, the, they're just to remind us like we're in this really really kind of high anxiety situation right now and how are we dealing with that as just everyday heroes, you know, just in our own lives, you know, just just uh, even the accomplishment of just having uh, being slightly positive, finding something positive in the day that that comes up. I know, I know that that's what fuels me uh, every day is just looking for those those positive little little nuggets that I can kind of hold on to, you know. So anyway, we're going to get into our mobility flow, and then we're going to do our speed strength. So let's get after it. Hopefully, you have some water. I'm going to come over here to my mat. I'm going to get into my quadruped position, and what I want to do is I'm going to do five fire hydrants. So I'm going to lift my leg up to the side and back down. Lift my leg up to the side and back down. So I'm trying to keep my belly button pointed towards the ground and I'm really feeling my glute activate with this. So I'm going to do five of those hydrants. I'm going to pause slightly at the top and then I'm going to go into my hip circles. So what I want to do is have my knee come to my elbow out to the side up and back and down. Knee to my elbow, out to side, up and back and down. So I'm just drawing this really nice big circle with my knee five times. That's four, that's five. Now I'm gonna take it the other way. So I'm gonna start up and back, out to side, to my elbow and down. We're gonna do go that way five times. and five. Then we're going to go back to our hydrants. So again, I'm just in this quadruped position. My shoulders are over my wrists. I'm going to lift that leg, pause at the top, come back down. Just five times, guys. Two, three. Feel that glute really activate as you bring that knee up. 
four, five. All right, then I'm gonna go knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down for my hip circles. Forward, three, four, five. Coming back down, out to side, up and back, out to side, to the elbow and down. We're reversing the direction. Four, five. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna transition into our, our shin box kick through. So for this, I wanna keep my chest upright. If I need to, I can put my hands behind me to keep my chest upright. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick that leg out. I'm gonna bring it forward. I'm gonna have it line up with my belly button. And then I'm gonna bring it back in and back. So right now my knee is touching my front foot. My shin is straight out in front of me. I'm gonna go ahead and do that kick through and come back down. Don't worry if you need to put that, put your hands behind you to stay upright. We just don't wanna curve or cur curve our back as we're doing this. We're gonna do five times on the right. This is four. And this is five. Nice job. Then we're just gonna switch it out. So, again, I have my knee to foot. I'm gonna kick out and in. Keeping that up, chest upright. Josh has his uh, thinking face on right now. <laughs> it also might be constipation. It's a little, it's a little hard to tell. <laughs> yeah. Josh is using his hands, using those tools. All right, next guys, we're gonna go into our frog stretch. So for my frog stretch, what I wanna do, I'm gonna widen out my knees. So right now my, my heels are coming straight off my knees. I'm gonna come down to my forearms. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grip the earth with my knees, pulling in for five, four, three, two, one. Now I'm gonna relax out of it. I like to bob a little bit forward with this just to get that, get that pressure off my groin for a moment. And then I'm gonna push my butt back again, maybe get a little bit deeper with it this time. Grip the earth with those knees for five, four, three, two, one. So what I'm doing with this is, again, I'm rocking a little bit forward just to get that pressure off. I'm gonna push back in for just one more and I'm gonna squeeze the earth for five, four, Three, two, one. Awesome. Now, walk it back up into our quadruped position. We're in a perfect position to go into our cat cows. Lead, guys, lead with that tailbone as you tuck that tailbone under and then really feel that stretch in that thoracic spine as you reach this part of your back, the upper part of your back, up to the ceiling, bringing your head down. And then lead with your tailbone again as you go into your cow, all right? Bringing those shoulders up. My belly gets pulled to the ground as my butt sticks up in the air. Taking it back the other way. Nice. That's two. Let's do five. Take it slow, feel each vertebrae stretch. As you do this, reaching out of those arms. This is four, taking your time, your breathing. I like all these animal themed stretches from our frog or amphibian theme to cat cows to Birds, we're gonna go into our pigeon next. So for my pigeon, what I wanna do is I wanna be in this high plank. I'm gonna take my knee and put it in between my hands. Now, what I'm doing with my back leg is I'm keeping that tension in that back leg. So I'm not sitting all the way into it, keeping it up. And then my hip that is closest to that foot that's underneath me, I'm gonna to try to t rotate it because I'm trying to get my hips to be level. All right, so I want you to hold that. Feel that nice stretch. Hopefully you're feeling a great stretch in your lower back with this also as you rotate that hip down. 
Breathe into the nose. Big breaths all the way down to the belly. Don't keep it superficial, guys. Don't keep it all up here in your chest. I want you to feel that, that deep breath down in your belly. And exhale through the mouth. Give me two more big breaths. And switching it out. So going into my high plank, bringing that knee forward in between my hands, keeping that tension in that back leg, and then bringing this hip rotated down to the ground. And breathe into it. All right, just give me a couple more breaths. Actually, while we're still down here, let's go ahead and stay in our quadruped position, and then we're gonna do some shoulder circles. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring my head down, my shoulders up to the ceiling, then I'm gonna bring my shoulders to my ears, then I'm gonna lift up out of my shoulders, and then bring my shoulders back to my hips. So that is one circle. Try to make these really big. I'm gonna do five in this direction. And then we're gonna reverse it. So I'm gonna go up to my ears, pull my shoulders down to my back pockets. I'm gonna lift up out of my shoulders and then bring them forward again. Take a nice, big, slow, big, big movements with this, guys. Ah, yeah. Getting those shoulders all nice and warmed up. Let's do a little bit more shoulder stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come onto one knee. I'm gonna bring this pelvis forward. I'm gonna get a nice little, little ankle uh, flexion in this front leg by just kind of pushing into it. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach my hand forward. All right, my palm is facing this back wall. Now I'm gonna rotate my hand and my shoulder towards you. Then I'm gonna keep rotating my hand and my shoulder back to that back wall. Now my hand is gonna face up as my shoulder turns. Come back down, reset, bring that hand up. Then I'm gonna rotate my hand to that back wall rotating my shoulder around, hand rotates back to that back wall and down. So we're reaching our, our arm out of our shoulder socket, but we're keeping our rib cage down at the same time. We're gonna switch out to the other leg. So again, I'm gonna bring my pelvis forward. So I'm getting a nice little stretch here in my quad and in this ankle. I'm gonna reach forward hand to this back wall. Now everything rotates. Hand, shoulder, rotates, keeping that rib cage down. My hand is now facing that back wall. Now it's facing the ceiling. Come down, reset. Bring that hand back up to the ceiling until it can't go anymore. Then start your rotation in that shoulder. All right, rotating slowly, feeling these really nice movements, big movements in those shoulders. All right, so guys, now we're gonna just be in this kneeling position. We're just gonna do a couple neck circles. So I'm gonna bring my, my chin down and then I'm gonna take it off to the side. I'm gonna bring it to the back, to the other side, and back down to the front. So what I'm thinking about is drawing a big circle with the crown of my head. And I'm trying to lift my head up out of my neck as I do this. If I concentrate on that, I get a little less crunchy, crunchy happening in my neck. If I keep it lifted. We're gonna go five circles in this direction. Really big. Pretend like you have a laser pointer sticking out of the top of your head and you're trying to make these circles in the sky. What? It's trippy. All right. 
I have some neck issues, so I really like to be super, super gentle with this. All right. Now we're gonna go into our downward and our upward dog. So for my downward dog, I'm gonna come into this A-frame position and my ears are next to my biceps. I'm gonna pedal out my feet, bringing my hip, my, uh, my heels up, bending that leg. I'm gonna do five pedals on each side. You should feel a really, really nice stretch in your shoulders and in your hamstrings. And now if you're able to, you're gonna go into a dive bomb and then you're gonna come up into your upward dog. So I'm gonna feel this really nice stretch here. I'm breathing in, breathing out. I'm actually keeping my hips elevated off the ground for this type of stretch. And now I'm gonna reverse it. I'm gonna come back, going into that downward dog. Really, really warming up those shoulders now, guys. Pedal it out. Four, five. Go into my dive bomber. Ooh. There we go. Feeling that stretch, breathing. All right, bringing it back into that downward dog. Next, guys, we're gonna go into our side-lying archer. So for this, I'm gonna lay on my side. My knees are stacked, and I really wanna make sure I keep my knees stacked as I do this. So if I need to, I can always put my, my lower hand on my knees. Otherwise, I'm just gonna stack my hands, and then I'm gonna draw my hand across my chest as I bring it to that back wall, I'm trying to get that, sh that upper shoulder to touch the ground if possible. And then I'm gonna look towards that back wall. And then I'm gonna bring it back in, drawing my hand across my chest, starting in that beginning position again, looking at my knees, making sure my knees are stacked the entire time. Taking it slow, seeing if you can get a little deeper, trying to get that shoulder to the ground if possible. Bob. Great job, I know how much you love these. Oh, stretching it out, stretching it out, opening up the chest. Coming back in. All right, we're just gonna do three on that side, then we're gonna switch it out and do three on the other. Stacking my knees, bringing my hands together, drawing that hand across the chest. Woo, this side is a lot tighter. I am not getting nearly as deep with my shoulder. Ha <sighs> ha. Now I'm gonna bring it back in, checking my knees, making sure they're stacked, bringing it back across. Uh, taking your time, trying to look at that back wall, see if you can get a little bit lower with that shoulder. Whoo. Feeling my hip release a little bit, getting me a little bit lower. Coming back in. Drawing that hand across. Ah. And back in again. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna stand it up and we're gonna go into our I's, our Y's, our W's and our T's. So for my eyes, what I wanna do is I wanna go into this hinge position where I'm pulling my butt to the back wall. And then I'm gonna have my palms face each other. I'm gonna bring my arms up. I'm gonna hesitate here at the top. I'm gonna to hold it. And then I'm gonna come back down. So my arms in the eye position are right next to my ears. And then I'm coming back down. So I want you to feel this tension in your hamstrings, guys. So you might need to play with the bending your knee in order to feel those hamstrings activate. Going into my eye. This is three, we're gonna do five. Pause at the top. There we go. Now, stand it up, release. We're gonna go into our Ys. So for my Y, it's very similar. I'm just pulling my butt to the back wall. I'm just coming out at more of a 45 degree angle and then holding it and coming down. Two, hold it. Three, four, and 
and five. Yeah, stand up. I like to reset for a second. Then I'm gonna go into my W's. So for my W's, what I wanna do is have my elbows and my hands together, and then I'm gonna bring them out to the side. So right now, my hand is in the same line as my shoulder. I'm gonna come back down, coming out to the side, really opening it up. You should feel your shoulder blades pull together, and you should feel your chest stretch as you're coming into this open book position. This is four. This is five. All right. Next, I'm gonna go into my T's. So for my T, same thing, pulling my butt back. This time, my arms are coming directly out from my shoulders. Again, it's right here, pausing at the top. Feel those shoulder blades. Really squeeze. Three. Four. And five. All right. Next, guys, we're going to go into everybody's favorite, the bretzel. So I'm going to sit down on the ground. I am going to grab my lower leg with my upper arm. And then I'm going to grab my top leg. I'm going to pull it towards me. Some people can grab it like this. I like to get a little bit more of a stretch. And then what I'm trying to do is have this bottom leg come straight off of my hip as I pull back. And I'm also, at the same time, trying to bring this opposite shoulder down to the ground. And I'm breathing into it. Again, guys, deep breaths. I don't want shallow breaths. I want deep, deep belly breaths. Breathing in through the nose. <sighs> Giving me a long exhale. Three. <sighs> Four. And five. Release it slowly. We're gonna go to the other side. So I'm grabbing that bottom foot, that top leg, I'm grabbing with my bottom arm, and I'm pulling. And I'm trying to bring that opposite shoulder, that high shoulder that's grabbing my, bat, my bottom foot to the ground. And I'm breathing. big breaths, taking your time, and five. Ah, great job, guys. All right. So now what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you grab some water. If you want to, you can do uh, light weights with this, but maybe for the warm up, we just do it without weights just so you get used to the movements. And, uh, and then you can see how, uh, see how much resistance you want with it. Again, this is about speed, guys, in perfect form. It's not about heavy weights. So the first thing we're gonna do is mountain climbers. So for my mountain climbers, I'm gonna come into this high plank. My butt is about the same level as my shoulders. I'm gonna go knee to elbow, knee to elbow. So I'm gonna do that five times, four, five. One on each side, guys. Now, if you want to speed it up, that's totally fine when we're actually doing the circuit. And also, like, for, for some reason, the, the uh, regular mountain climbers make my uh, one hip kind of click. And so uh, a lot of times I like to do the crossbody mountain climbers instead, and I don't get that same kind of stick with my hip. And then we're going to do our split squats. So for my split squat, both legs are straight at the top. Everything's locked out. My glutes are locked out. Both legs are locked out. And I'm up on this toe in the back. That heel does not touch the ground at all during the split squat. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down, trying to get that knee about an inch off the ground, and stand back up, really locking it out at the top. So let's go ahead and do five as far as our warm up is concerned. Three, four, five. And again, we'll be doing this a lot faster when we're actually doing the circuit. We're just getting warmed up right now, guys. So again, that, I'm up on my, that toe in the back, coming down, bringing that knee about an inch off the ground. Squeeze and lock it out. Really get that glute to turn on. I'm also keeping my upper body upright. 
I'm not leaning over with this, all right? This is three, this is four, and this is five. All right, next I'm gonna go into my hurdler. So I'm gonna pretend like there's a hurdle right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right foot and I'm gonna step over and then I'm gonna bring my other leg over. So I'm trying to get these really big hip movements with this, all right? So that was one. This is two. Three. That's four. And five. All right. Next, we're gonna do our plank with T-spine rotation. So I'm gonna come back into this uh, plank position. I'm down on my forearms. My shoulders are over my elbows. My feet are wide for stability. And then I'm gonna bring my elbow up to the ceiling and rotate and come back down. Rotate, come back down. So that's one. This is two. This is three. This is four. And this is five. Ah. All right. Next, we're gonna go into our bicycle crunch. So if you needed your mat, you can go ahead and grab your mat or your blanket. And for my bicycle crunch, I'm gonna bring my hands behind my head. I'm gonna go opposite arm to opposite knee, rotating my upper torso, getting those shoulder blades off the ground, going five times on each side, making sure that bottom leg is straight. Four, this is five, nice. Okay, next, we're gonna do either a forward lunge or a reverse lunge. So, sometimes people who have knee issues, the reverse lunge is a little bit easier. So I'll demo that first. So for my reverse lunge, I'm gonna step back, getting that knee about an inch off the ground and coming back in. And then I'm gonna switch it out to the other side. Coming back in, switching it out, coming back in, Switching it out, coming back in. So with, with this, guys, if you want to do the forward lunge, you're just going to step forward and back in. Now, regardless if you're doing the forward lunge or the reverse lunge, I want all that weight in that lead leg, and that lead leg is also the leg that you draw back in with, all right? So either way, however you're doing it, go ahead and give me five on each side. And then for our last exercise in this circuit, we're going to be doing knee grab with reach. So for my knee grab with reach, my arms are in close to my chest. I'm gonna bring my arms forward. Then I'm gonna come up overhead, come back down, back in. I like to do this one with weights. And I'll show you that as we go into the circuit. Three, four, really get upright with this guys. Reach up and down, all right. So those are all the exercises in the circuit that we're gonna do. We're gonna go through each one of these exercises as fast as we can, and then we're gonna rest for about a minute before we start the circuit again. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna go fast with it, all right? So we're gonna start with our mountain climbers, five on each side. Again, I'm gonna do cross body. Three, four, five, and then I'm gonna go into my split squat. So I'm up in the, my heel is up in the back, coming down and up, down and up. Four, five, switching it out. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm gonna go into my hurdlers. So I have my little imaginary hurdle that I'm trying not to knock over. So I make these really big hip movements. Three, four, and five. Then I'm going down to the ground for my plank with T-spine rotation, feet are wide. Bringing that elbow up to the ceiling. Five times on each side. Two, three, four, five. Rolling over onto my back as I do my bicycle crunch. Two, three, 
four, five. Then I'm going into my forward or reverse lunge. I'm going to do a forward lunge, switching it out. Two, three, four, and five. Then I'm going to do my knee grab with reach down on the ground. That's coming up, reaching up and down. Trying to go as fast as you can, guys. Three, four, five. Woo! All right. That was set one. Now we're going to rest for a minute. And then we're going to go back through it again for three more sets. So you should feel your heart rate up right now. The next set actually I'm going to do with some lighter dumbbells. I want to feel a little bit, little bit more resistance with this. Also, if you need to take a little bit more than a minute rest, that is totally fine too. So we're trying to get our heart rate up and then we're trying to get into full recovery, heart rate up, full recovery. All right. So I'm going to grab some more water. Again, I'll have to edit out those gulping noises because they are disgusting and it's shocking how loud they are. I don't know why I can't ever hear it with Josh drinks. But when I drink, it's like gloom, gloom, gloom. Was that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so desensitized from Josh's normal gulping noises while he's eating and drinking. All right, guys, we're going to go into our crossbody mountain climbers. Here we go. That was a minute of rest. Two, three, four, five. All right. Then I'm going to go into my split squats. So for my split squats, I'm going to grab some weights. One, two, three. Really lock it out, guys. Four, five. Switching it out to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. All right, going into my hurdlers. One, two, three, four, five. All right, plank with T-spine rotation. Feet wide, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Then I'm going into my bicycles. Ha ha, one, two, three, four, five. Nice. And then I'm gonna go into my forward lunge. So I'm gonna grab my weights again. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, then I'm going into my knee grab with reach. So I'm just gonna grab one of my weights. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we got a minute of rest. The thing I like about these circuits, guys, is you can go at your own pace. So if you wanna set your own timer for your own minute of rest, if you wanna go faster than me, you can always go faster than me. If you're going slower, that's totally fine too. During this minute of rest, you can grab water. You could also do an active recovery. So we could do like either a walking quad stretch. We could do those cat cows that we did at the beginning. You could do fire hydrants. There's a whole bunch of things that you can do. Still bring your heart rate down, but you're also still moving at the same time. So we got about 10 seconds left. And then we're gonna go into our third set. So I'm gonna start on the ground with my mountain climbers. And again, I'm doing cross body, but you can do just straight knee to elbow. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm gonna go right into my split squats. I'm really liking these weights. One, just gotta maintain that speed, guys. Just go as fast as you can. Three, four, five. While maintaining really good form. One, locking it out. Two, three, four, five. All right, then 
I have my hurdler. One, two, three. Nice job, Heather. Four, five. All right, going down to the ground for my T-spine planks with rotation. Two, three, four, five. All right, switching it over. We're gonna go into our bicycles. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Then I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna do my forward lunge. I'm gonna use my weights. One, if you're Emily Khalil, you do all five on one side and then all five on the other. Josh is doing a power lunge right now. So he's switching it up midair. If you're not afraid of waking the family, you can do that or your neighbors. Then I'm gonna go into my knee grab with reach. So one, two, feet in at the top. Three, four, five. Yeah, all right. Got a minute, minute of rest. And then we're going into our last set, which is gonna be our best set. I'm gonna grab a little bit of water. All right. Guys, I'm gonna do this active recovery right now. Making sure to keep my knee underneath my hip. I'm gonna switch it out to the other side. What I'm doing is finding a spot on the wall to help me with my balance. Really getting this nice oblique stretch on the other side. Got about 20 seconds left. Whoo! Getting my heart rate to come down. Again, you don't need to do an active recovery. I just really like it, especially this stretch. I feel like my quads have been super, super tight lately. All right, guys, we're going into it. Starting with our mountain climbers. Last set. set. Two, three, four. Five, awesome. Now I'm gonna go into my split squats. So I'm gonna grab my weights. One, two, three, four, five. I really want you to lock out those legs at the top. I feel very alive when I'm doing these split squats. Three, four, five. All right, now I'm going into my hurdler. One. This is two, this is three. Big movements, guys. Four, five. T-spine plank with rotation. Boom, one, two. Throw those bows. Four, three. <laughs> this is four. Yeah. This is five. Huh. All right, bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Going into my forward lunge. Grabbing my weights. One, two, three, four. Five. Grabbing one of my weights, going into my knee grab with reach. One, two, three, four, five. All right, guys, grab some water. We're gonna do a calf finisher gonna be awesome. Say you have you say you're close to a staircase or a small ledge or something you can use that if not it's no big deal to just do this from the floor. So we're gonna do 21s. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my toes pointing towards you. I'm gonna raise up and lower. I'm gonna raise up and lower. Now I'm trying really really hard with this to have full extension at the top and I'm going slow with it. 
We're gonna do seven of these. All right, five, six, seven. Now, if you wanna grab your weights, feel free to. This time, we're gonna point out our toes. All right, so I'm putting out my toes at about a 45 degree angle. I'm not going into a squat position though. My feet are still pretty narrow. I'm gonna come up, really squeezing at the top, guys. Again, seven of these. Three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome. Now, I'm gonna point my toes in. Same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome. Hey guys, now we're gonna do the same thing with some glute bridges. So I'm gonna lay down on the ground. I'm gonna have my feet in close to my butt. I'm gonna bring my hips up to the ceiling and back down. So I'm trying to get that lower back on the ground as I do this, two, and I'm really squeezing my glutes at the top, three, four, five, six, seven, squeezy, squeezy. Now guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my feet together and I'm gonna let my knees just drop out and then I'm gonna bring my hips up to the ceiling and back down. Hips up to the ceiling and back down. So you should feel this in a different area of your legs, your glutes. Three, four, try not to rush it. Try to pause at the top. Five, six, and seven. So guys, this time what we're gonna do is I wanna have my knees together the entire time my feet are out. Again, squeezing at the top and back down. Squeezing at the top and back down. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. We're gonna go back into our 21s for our calf raises. We're just gonna do both of these just two more times, oh, just one more time. So again, my feet are gonna, my toes are gonna be pointing towards you. I'm coming up and down. Now to maintain balance, if I find a spot on the wall, and I just stare at that, that really helps. But try really hard guys to get up as high as you possibly can. This is four, really squeezing those glutes, feeling those abs on six, and seven. Now, pointing my toes out, coming up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. Toes pointed in, up and down. Did I lose my balance? Two, three, Four, five, six, seven. All right, let's burn up those glutes. Just going into our regular glute bridge. My knees are slightly apart. My feet are into close to my butt. My lower back is on the ground, squeezing up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, feet together. Let those knees fall out. So the, the, base, the base of my feet are, are, my soles of my feet are touching, coming all the way up and down. All the way up, squeeze, 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 and down. Three, four, five, six, Seven, nice. Knees together, feet out. Again, getting that lower back on the ground when you're on the bottom. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven squeezy squeezies. Awesome. Yeah. Guess what we're doing now, guys? Going right into our homework. What? Or dessert, whatever you want to call it. I widen out those feet. I'm going to make room for my hips to travel down. And I'm trying hard to get my elbows on the insides of my knees. I'm trying to get low with this. Squeeze at the top. So bring that pelvis forward. We're doing 20. Here we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's do some more knee grabs. Why not? We're gonna just do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, whoo, seven, eight, nine, 10, yay yeah, yo. All right, what are we doing now? Swimmers. All right guys, push those shoelaces into the ground. Splay out those fingertips. Coming in, bringing my hands right next to my rib cage, squeezing those shoulder blades at the top and down. Coming slightly up onto my abdomen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Going for twenty. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, squeeze, squeeze, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! All right, that's it. That's all you got. <laughs> all right, guys, man, this is a big class today. I'm really, really happy to see all these bright, smiling warriors. And uh, again, we're just trying to keep ourselves positive throughout this, all, this whole crazy experience, you know, and just trying to find those little, those little nuggets, those little treasures that keep us going during the day. Again, I'm really happy for Heather's story about how to find joy during your day and with all your tasks. It's been, um, it's been really, really inspirational to me. It's, it's also made me think about each of the tasks that I'm doing and how do I, how do I find joy in there. So um, I appreciate that, Heather. Thank you, Warrior. And uh, guys, we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within any way that we can. We love you. We miss you. Meow, meow, meow. These are the worst. These are the worst. <laughs>